my goal today to, to let you guys know the importance of storytelling because it, it plays an integral role across multiple platforms and uh, more, multiple uh, stakeholders throughout the entire development process. Um, the ultimate thing that storytelling does is it helps answer this question. So the consumer will come up and, and any product, whatever it is, whether it's sports product, whether it's cars, whether you're choosing between uh, two different soy milks at the grocery store, they want to know, why should I use this? And it's our stories that help answer that question, right? Because everything these days is essentially homogenous product. For every, for every 15 people there are out there uh, selling running shoes, there's another 10 or 15 brands that are trying to get out there to, to also do the same thing. So it's the brands that can tell the better stories that actually excel in this marketplace. So uh, great products start with great stories. And uh, now we're going to kind of dive in a little bit more into uh, what exactly, uh, what and when we apply stories uh, to product in the, in the uh, creation process. And you know, this, is, this being the, uh, the, the sports product management program, I want to focus on sports product. But one of the key stories that, or excuse me, one of the key phrases that was told to me early on in my career is that sports product is the tangible aspect to the dream. So I'm going to say that again. Sports product is the tangible aspect to the dream. So what that means is sports are selling kids. It's the whole reason that sports marketing exists, right? And that kid looks up to Michael Jordan and wants to be like Mike, right? And he knows that by buying a pair of Michael Jordan shoes, he might be that much closer, closer to reaching that dream. That's the tangible aspect. Uh, whether it's drinking Gatorade, right? Peyton Manning's drinking Gatorade on the sideline. When I go in and I need an, uh, a drink at the store, I'm more likely to buy Gatorade because I see that Peyton Manning does it. And that's what helps him perform at his great heights. And so it might help me perform at those great heights, right? And then, of course, when it comes down to to running footwear for me, you're selling the dream of A, either being a better runner, depending on, on who you're uh, speaking to as a consumer, or you're speaking to that high school kid that wants to wear a pair of running shoes uh, just to hang out in and, and wears a fashion statement. And whether that dream is to have a, uh, your fastest PR in a marathon, or that dream is to make sure that you've got the hottest date for homecoming, in some way, our product is selling that dream, right? And that's where the story comes in. How do we build that dream? How do we let them know that we're going to help them achieve said dream? And then another thing that stories do is that it helps set up authenticity, right? It helps make your product authentic. Because our consumers these days are incredibly smart. They're intelligent. And they can read a flawed product and a flawed story right away. So if you start. With, where, with the brief, and when you're talking to the designer, and you tell that story from the beginning, it helps make your product that much more authentic. When I first started Adidas, I was brought on to work on a special project. And I was brought on to work with the Adidas basketball team and the NBA on a project around Earth Day. So what happened is Adidas challenged the NBA and said, let us come back to you and tell you ways that we can actually tell a story around Earth Day rather than just having green jerseys. So they brought me in and uh, as, a, as a consultant on this project. And for four or five months, I worked on a proposal to the NBA. And what we came to them with is, can we focus on recycled or recycled materials in shooting shirts, right? Can we make a, a green jersey but have the dyes be environmentally friendly dyes? Are there ways that our partnership can limit the number of samples that we use? You know, the NBA has 32 fan, or teams. They have a home jersey, an away jersey, and an alternative jersey. So you go 32 teams times that. Now, all of a sudden, we're looking at 100 samples. And if you have two hoodies for each team with the colors, you have uh, some, a pair of warm-up pants, you have tank tops, you have five or six tees, you can see how that can really add up to the number of samples that, that are, are created over a season. So one of the things we proposed to them was, let us do a handful of those to represent a couple of key teams, but then let us use the others to be digitally. So you can see 
the New York Knicks sample in hand, and then you can think of in your mind how that might look like as a Cleveland Cavs or an LA Lakers jersey, right? So I made that proposal to them, and uh, it was a hit. It, they, they went off, and, and, and the NBA and Adidas were both able to be more authentic around Earth Day. But next April, go ahead and check it out. You'll see uh, NBA players wearing recycled shirt, shooting shirt jerseys. You'll know that our samples have been cut down by 70% with uh, our partnership. So brands have to be aware of that, and the way that you do that is through thinking of the story.